Hey there, welcome to the 21st session. Till now we have learned what is a GraphQL and create various kind of query, mutation and subscription. From this session we are going to dig our hand in coding and use Visual Studio to create the our own GraphQL API. For this I am going to use Visual Studio 2019 version 16.5.0 preview 1 and create a new project of ASP.NET Core web application. We will create an API for pizza ordering functionality. So let's use the pizza order.api as a project name and select the location where you want to save this project. And solution name will be pizza order. Click on create. I'm going to use the ASP.NET Core 3.1 for this project. Microsoft has announced that ASP.NET 3.1 will have the long term support. So it's better to use this instead of the 3.0 and use the API template. Here a simple web API project is created. Throughout this project I am going to use Entity Framework Core for DB operation. If you are not aware of Entity Framework Core then you can also refer to my another course. Link is available in the bonus lecture. For this, I am going to use the Entity Framework command line tooling. Open the Package Manager console and write .NET tool install. We are going to install the .NET EF globally. Here .NET EF 3.1.0 installed successfully. Let's create a new project for data access layer. It will be class library of .NET Core. And project name will be the pizza order dot data. Now we need to add the NuGet package for entity framework. In the data project, we need to add the Microsoft dot entity framework core of version three point one. Along with this, we also need to install the Microsoft dot entity framework core dot relationer. and microsoft.entityframeworkcode.sql server In the API project we also need to add the some packages for entity framework Install the microsoft.entityframeworkcode.design and microsoft.entityframeworkcode.sql server Here is a schema for our DB. For learning purpose, I have tried to create it as simple as possible as well as also cover the some important things. It includes the two table, pizza details and order details. Pizza details contains the detail of the individual pizza for our order. It has ID, name, topping, price, size, order details ID for a relationship. Here for toppings, I will use the flag in you. Order details table contains the ID, address line 1, address line 2, mobile number, amount, date and order status. Here order status will represent the predefined values, so it will be in new. I have already created in new as well as a class that represents this schema. Entities contains the constructor. So we can easily set the value for all properties. I have also created the ADB context. It includes the ADB set for both tables. Along with this, I have also created the seeder class. It will seed the some dummy data in the ADB. So it helps us to retrieve the data. Now we need to add the connection string for database in app setting. Connection strings. Pizza order DB and paste the connection string here. After this, we need to add the DB context dependency. Within a configure services method, write the services dot add DB context of type pizza DB context. 
and add reference to the a data project in api in option action call the use sql server for this we need to import the microsoft.entity framework core from configuration we are interested to obtain the connection string with the name pizza order db i am making context lifetime to singleton in configure method obtain the pizza db context db context not this will be added through the dependency injection and we are added it here so we can use this here at the end call insert data setting method in which we are ensuring that db should be created and if it does not have any data those dummy data will be added let's rebuild the project will it succeed open the package manager console and use this command here we are telling that we are creating a new migration with this name and our startup project will be api and project to use will be a data and db context name is this here it's done after executing this command new migration has been created in our data project now we need to update the database with the migration for this use this command here we have again specify the startup project project to use and the context name migration is done let's check it in the management studio here we got the two tables for both of entities cool let me remove those default file created by the project template let's see what we have learned in this session in this session we have created a new project of type asp.net core 3.1 and setting up the entity framework core in it here is a list of nuget packages that we have added in the api as well as the in data project here are some of the commands that we have used to install the EF tooling, adding migration and updating the database. Here is a schema that we have created. Stay tuned for the next session.